Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly change colors of an object in Photoshop. We are going to be working on this picture of an English setter. And the first thing you'll want to do is any edits to the photo. I'm going to go ahead and run Color Fusion Mix and Match and just kind of enhance the dog before we move on. In this photo, you can see I've chosen to have one click color at 28% and creamsicle at 14%. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the background color, which is actually this chair that the dog is on. We want to change the whole entire chair, the front part as well as the background. There's a number of ways to do this. The key is when you're photographing your subject that you make sure there's not that color anywhere else in the image. So what you can see actually the collar does have that color, so we will need to pay attention to that if we want to keep it a separate color. If we want it to match, then it will probably go ahead and just change as we go. One easy way to do this, assuming you have a fairly solid color backdrop, is to go under Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Now, you could make a selection and use the master channel, or if you're lucky enough, you can actually drop down under master if you can find one of the color channels that represents the background color and choose that color. So it's either going to be blues or probably in this case cyans. So I'm going to start with cyan and we're going to adjust the hue. And you will see as I move up, the color of the chair changes. Also, you can adjust the saturation to taste. And you can see how quick and easy that is to do. Now, if you have specs that have not been hit, you're going to want, and you can see there's a little bit of haloing. One way you can handle that is to make a new blank layer. Command Shift N on a Mac, Control Shift N on a PC. So we're going to make a new layer, change the mode to color and click OK. The next item we're going to do is change our brush to color. So hit B on your keyboard for the brush and then go under the word color there. Now you're going to sample a color that's close to the color you need and you're going to take a little bit of time and just go around the trim so that you get rid of any areas where you see some haloing. So that's just one way of many to change the color of an object in Photoshop. Thank you for watching. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.